Hey everyone, so today we're going to tell you how to make party planning made easy by scheduling your text messages to your hostess. Um, I use the Verizon Message Plus app. If you don't have Verizon but you still have an Android, you're going to use what we call Textra. And Textra is a great way to, it's right here, um, to schedule text messages while attaching photos at the same time, which is fantastic. Um, a lot of scheduling um, text messenger apps um, will only let you schedule text messages, not any pictures. So Textra is one that you can use. Um, I'm going to use Textra, and then I already have like my um, my host is already there, but I want to show you how to. Um, I have a template that has all of my. Um, messages and stuff saved so what's great about this is you can have them in different notes basically so these are like what they call like different notebooks that you have and you can save it it goes into a cloud you can share the information to anybody that you want as well um, which is fantastic so it keeps it all in one place so I have my party planning text right through here so um, Here's the very first one is the invite image. So what I do with the invite image is I actually go and create a pic collage. And what I love about the pic collage is that it uses the same photo over and over again, but you can edit whatever that you want um, once you add on to that. So I've added the date here. and All I have to do is edit it and change it to the date of the hostess's party. But I've already done that. But when you do that, you hit done and you hit save, so that way it saves mm -hmm. in your. Um, that way it saves in your, um, your albums that you have. All right, so Textra. So again, like I said, I've already done that through here, as you can see, that I've added her date um, and the message. I already sent that though over to her. So her par party is Thursday the 20th. So once I sent the initial invite, I start backwards. So that way I know what I need to work with. Um, these right here in the Evernote, all 20 of them, they are, um, I have all of these images. It says thank you image, um, your tomorrow night image. Don't forget, it's almost party time. All of these images are in our Facebook group and that's where you can access them and all, and this basically this template that you see here but I'm going to change it up a little bit and use the party planning text images that the COO has um, your consultant online office that pure romance has provided for us all right um, and but I'm going to use the same wordings obviously I can't use all of them because there's only eight and I have 20 here so I'm basically just going to pick and choose what I want to what I want to send so here's my thank you image I'm going to copy here and then Textra and I'm going to paste it, which I, which I have done here. And there was an original line and I put open till Saturday. So you can keep the party open if you want to. I usually don't close them out till um, I do everything on Monday or Tuesday. So if someone orders online, I'm still going to let them until I close out the party. So there's that. And what I love about Textra, again, remember you can attach photos. So you hit the plus button. So these are all going to be your recent that you have here. But I have everything already in albums. And then I've already, it's already in my party planning album that's already here. All right, so I'm going to find my thank you for hosting message. Oh, I put it in the middle of the of the message. So let's go ahead and come back up here to the beginning and then attach it at the beginning. That would be smart, right? There we go. Dun, da, da. All right, and then click the plus button on the left hand side again. And then you'll see that this time right next to is the fourth one over. Um, it looks like a clock, but with a circle arrow around it. That's your scheduler. So you can schedule this whenever that you want. So her, again, her party is October the 20th. Mm -hmm. This is a thank you for having a party with me text message. So I'm going to send it on the 21st, the day after the party. And then you can choose whatever time that you want to send it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and send it at 3.55 p.m. and hit OK. And then I'm going to 
you can see if I can, it won't let me. Um, but you'll see that right up on top where the arrow is, where it says SMS, and then it's got the schedule icon in green, you're going to go ahead and click that button, and it's going, and that shows that it is scheduled right here. Wow. Okay, so, all right, so there's your thank you one. So I'm, again, I'll start backwards. So now we're going to do the, whoa, sorry. The reminder the, the day before. And her party starts at 6.30, or sorry, six o'clock. So I'm going to send her the 6.30 message that I have saved. I'll do that, and then I'm going to go back to my Evernote. And I am going to cop use this message right here. All right, copy. Paste. And you'll see on this one it says, um, can't make it. You have your personal party link. And I have that up for her as well. So I'm going to go into my COO. I'm going to go into my parties. And I know that she's going to be on the second page. And if I'm Tanya, I'm going to click on the guest order info so I can go ahead and get the party ID link. So you'll see it looks like it's unfinished, um, but in your mobile app, you can only go so far. So you just scroll down to find the second line. I'm going to hit copy, go back to my message, and I'm going to hit paste. Hit the plus sign on the left-hand side again. We're going to hit the schedule button and so this is going to be the day before so I need to put it in for the 19th and then I'm actually going to send it early in the morning because her party is tomorrow I want to send her have her send out the reminder messages and then on the top I'm going to hit the send button over here to schedule the message all right um, same thing so you again so now um, that is that we're going to now go into um, the COO versions of the hostess party, um, the party playing images. So these are these black ones right here, where it says tip one, tip two, four, eight. I don't know why mine's not in order, but it's not in order. So I'm just gonna go from, start at number eight, because remember I will always work backwards, so that way I know how many days I need to work with. So I go to eight, go back to my Evernote, find the text messages that I want to use, highlight it, I copy it, Go back over to my text draw. I go ahead and then paste it. And then hit the plus sign on the left-hand side. I'm going to go ahead and now schedule it um, for Tuesday, the 18th. And this one, um, I think 11.20 is good um, because that's still right before lunchtime, so she can do that. Ah! I try to swipe that, and there I go. I got that attached. Did I say it was the 18th? 11.20, and then it hits schedule. And now there it is schedule. So you just keep doing that over and over and over again um, until you are done use, um, with all of your scheduled messages, and then you are completed. And that is it. Um, just remember to you know, call at least the day before to confirm the party, make sure everything's good, see if she has any questions, um, and a few last minute reminders. So hopefully this makes it easy for you. Hope you enjoy this training on how you can schedule your text messages for Android. And now if you do have an iPhone, um, there is a different way to do that. I don't have an iPhone, so I can't teach you that. Uh, but it will not automatically send text messages to you. It will um, only remind you, hey, do you want to send this message now? So it, you can schedule it, but it's a scheduled reminder with everything pre-done. You just have to hit send. All right. So I hope you enjoy it, girls. Enjoy a wonderful day and hope that's easy for you. Thanks.